Christmas, dur, dur, horsies. This is really neat. <laughs> I like the uh, inscription on the bottom. The majesty of the world famous Budweiser Clydesdales has become a holiday tradition. This limited edition Stein depicts the hitch passing through a covered bridge on a snowy winter's eve. By, uh, Saramart of Brazil, handcrafted especially for Anheuser-Busch Inc. You don't really see stuff made in Brazil much. This is interesting. This is uh, some serious hardcore artage going on right here. And um, it's the Clydesdales going over a bridge. So let's take a look. Let's take a closer look. You got horsies. The details in this is really neat though. They even got a little horse in the back. I mean, come on. That's cool. And there's the uh, covered bridge they just went through. And there's the guy bringing the Anheuser-Busch to market. This is uh, uh, incredibly collectible. I, I don't see a date on this. Um, it doesn't look old. So, I... I would sincerely doubt it's an antique, but uh, <laughs> it's neat as heck, though, isn't it? They um, they have a Christmas series, and Heiser Bush does. I don't know if this is part of the Christmas ser series itself, but it obviously has a uh, a Christmassy theme to it. Um, you know, and it's made for the American audience. I, I doubt they're running through, uh, you know snow-laden oak trees and covered bridges in Brazil. Although there might be snow-laden oak trees and covered bridges in Brazil. I don't know. I've never been there. It is a very big country, so there's that. But, uh, I mean, they they covered like every inch of this with something. I mean, you got a band of interesting stuff there. you got a little band of interesting stuff there on the top kind of breaks it off so you, you, you know where it ends and begins so it's not just floating color in the middle of nowhere which, you know, is kind of a, a nice touch you got uh, this green along the handle the handle seems to be tapered a little bit it's uh, very interesting I don't know, I wonder if this was glued I'm kind of just noticing the uh, the handle seems to have some kind of glue in there. If I'm not mistaken, maybe. It could be paint. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was restored or broken once and glued back together. I'm thinking that that was probably painted in or something. I don't know, but um, this is gorgeous. This this is freaking gorgeous. And I thought it was interesting enough and nice enough to share with my uh, my people on the interwebs. I don't really know well anything really about the Steins. I, I just um, I'm the kind of person when you see something you like, even if it doesn't necessarily pertain to you, but if it, you, you like it and it's nice, you know, go ahead and uh, broaden your horizons. You never know. I, I, I'm not a beer drinker, but I, this is a really cool mug, and it's very interesting. So, like I said, I wanted to share. Um, like I was going to say, if you have uh, wisdom or insight on Steins, Budweiser Steins in particular, or rare ones made in Brazil, um, which this apparently is, although it's not numbered, which tells me that it's probably mass-produced, I don't know. Um, let me know what kind of wisdom and insight you have in the comment section below. I think this is interesting, and um, you know what, if you have any interesting art forms or things that you consider art that many people probably wouldn't, let me know that too in the comment section below. That crap is fascinating. Seriously. Anyway, um, that's all I got. So thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day. Let me know what you guys think. And I think this is just freaking absolutely gorgeous. I know. And I'm out.
it, it would appear you have reached the end of this video. Well, I want to thank you fellers for watching things that way. And uh, if you could uh, go ahead and, you know, share and like and subscribe and all, all that YouTuber nonsense that they say on the interwebs, what, what they, they, they do there, uh, that'd, be, that'd be nice. Uh, Y'all have, have a nice day. <laughs>